tell us a little bit about um, any other other projects you've got going on. Any other, mm. you know, I, I know that may be a <laughs> lot, but uh, something that you know maybe stands out to you. Well, I, I always do a lot. I do. A, I'm the mayor of fun at the Buffalo Chip, the legendary Buffalo Chip in Sturgis. Uh, I also do a rally up in Nova Scotia every year. Okay. This will be my fifth year in a row for going up there. It's called the Wharf Rat Rally in Digby, Nova Scotia. My friends up there, they're so good to me. It's, it's, I call it the, the Canadian Hamptons. Okay. And it's, it's, right, it's right on the ocean there. This year we're going up for the Cabot Trail, which is one of the top ten riding destinations in North America. It's, it's phenomenal up there. And it's also the scallop capital of the world. All right. So, I mean, the seafood is just, <laughs> you know. So, uh, th this is my life. I travel every weekend. I'm doing a different rally. Okay. Somewhere, someplace. Uh, it's really a good life. I'm living the dream, sure. as they say, you sure. know. And, and that's, that's my job. When I got out of the Marine Corps, I, I learned to value life. And I wanted to do something with my life. Okay. I knew time is short, you know. And I was only 20 years old when I got discharged. I went in at 17. So... I started doing the things I wanted more, mm -hmm. and, and that was work less, travel more, have more fun, do the rallies. More and more I started doing more rallies. I started going uh, to all the rallies, and I, I bought my trademark top hat. Uh, that, that became very well known, and I was in all the magazines. Right. And because of that, everyone knew me before they even met me. Right. And so they would come up to me like they knew now, and, and hey, I, I know you, and mm -hmm. well, because of that, I learned all the bike builders that were at the time in 2004. Biker Build Off was big right. on Discovery Channel, right. and so I was already hanging out with my friend Billy Lane. Okay, and that was he was living in Miami. I was living in Miami, basing out of there for a while, and me and him started hanging out. So when he opened up his full blown shop, I started driving for him okay. and hauling stuff, and uh, and I learned that for me. I don't want to go to a rally and work work the rally because right. you miss the rally. Right. That's that's like going to a rally without a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. you, you're there, but it's no fun. Right. So, I I learned that I'll help get you there. Mm -hmm. I'll help set up during the rally. I'll do my thing, and when it's over, I'll tear down and I'll drive the truck and bikes and haul them wherever you want. Mm -hmm. So I had a little neat little niche. So I ended up working for Billy Lane, and then. Then when that wasn't working out, I, I started working for some other people I, and end up, and then sometimes I was working for all of them at the same time, right. you know, whoever needed it, it was working for me. I was happy. So I ended up working with Kendall Johnson, Indian Larry, the late Indian Larry before he passed. I still, to this day, work with Indian Larry Motorcycles. Okay. Uh, they're still going strong with Bobby Seeger leading the way up in Brooklyn. So th because I know everybody, I'm allowed to do that. And right. it, it really works out so good for me. And I, I can do all the rallies. and. And, and, you know, people say, also, oh, is that how you got famous? I don't look at it that way. Right. Uh, but I do got a lot of notoriety. Sure. You know, I'm just a guy having fun, and, and people are noticing, and, and I'm enjoying sure. it. Hey, sure. it's all good. It's Beaner, I understand that, uh, that you, I'm sure a lot of people know this, but for those that don't, tell us a little bit about the book that you've got and, uh, um, you know, maybe a yeah. little bit of story there. Let me show sure. you the book. This is, uh, this is my book. It was uh, written by... I wrote it, Timothy Remus with Wolfgang Publications published it. Uh, David Yule painted the cover. Right. That's the most awesome part ever. He's a licensed f uh, painter for Harley Davidson. Okay. So he painted this cover. Uh, it was the official Sturgis painting last year. Mm -hmm. It's done real well. Everyone knows it's called Iron Horse Heist. Yeah. Um, uh, it was such a compliment to do that. This is all my travels. I've, uh, my bike is now in the National Motorcycle Museum in Anamosa, Iowa. Mm -hmm. It had 320,000 miles on it. I had flown it on a plane three times to several continents. I did twice I did Europe. I did spend two months in Australia with the bike. When it was brand new, I rode it straight from Miami to Alaska and back. Right. I did 17,300 miles in six weeks. That had to and be uh, one fun trip. Uh, right? you know, the, you know, and that's when I knew I was hooked. Because on the way back, I got back into Florida at the end of that, mm -hmm. and I was really depressed, and I didn't know why, and then it dawned on me. I was depressed because it was over. Right. And then I was like, no, it's not over. I'm, as soon as I get home, I'm going to make some money real quick and try to work and save something and get, head back out on the road. Sure. And, and I've learned, and that's, you know, to okay. keep traveling. So all of that is in the book and, and a lot of your other stories that you've, that you've 
there's experience. a lot of stories in here. There are a lot of stories. The most of them are verifiable. Um, I, I got a section with some famous people like uh, David Yule mm -hmm. and uh, Keith Nelson of Buck Cherry. Right. Uh, Jeff Decker, he's a sculptor for Harley. Um, a lot of my friends sure. in the industry, mm -hmm. I had them write a little something about how we met, a little story about us, and uh, what I represent to them. How long did it take you to get the book to, to print? I've actually been compiling stuff for 10 years okay. on this book, but it had a real good uh, welcoming after it's come up. It's, I came out last year just in time for uh, uh, Sturgis, okay. so it hasn't even been, it's barely been a year now, not even yet. but. Um, it's already in third edition printing. Nice. And that's that's pretty pretty good. Yeah. And everyone that's got it wants me to do another one. Right. And so I am planning a trip to Asia. I think that would be I need to do Asia and that'll be in the next book. Okay. If someone wants to get a hold of the book, how do they do that? I sell signed copies on my website, okay. everythingbeaner.com. Mm -hmm. So you can remember, but I spell my name B E A N apostrophe R E. Right. That's a lot. Everyone knows that. Sure. That's the French spelling. I took French three years at Saint X okay. here locally, yeah. and uh, I learned how to spell, spell. Beaner. <laughs> <laughs>